It was supposed to be out in two weeks. Why has it been two months? I was supposed to be done by the end of May, and it's not May anymore. Am I not May enough for this mayonnaise? Before I go on, I just want to let you all know the demo is out. You can click here to download it. And a quick thank you to my patrons. I'm, I'm sure you'll exist someday. So I was supposed to wrap this up by the end of July. What happened? Well, you see, um, I doubled my workload. Remember this part of my last video? I can do this. It, it, it won't be that bad. Look at that initial reaction. I am totally prepared for this. Evidently, I wanted more. Beyond the normal doubling that comes from recording videos for YouTube, I also introduced a new space level. Space is cool and all, but look at all these paths. Look at all these paths. I couldn't possibly keep the same level of detail as I had for the other areas. So anyway, each path is going to have a theme. This one mulches the player. This one is like that part in the demo, which I know you downloaded and played, but they move now. This is easy. I can do this. I also added some variation for fun little challenges, like this Factory Smasher from Clone Wars. Or that part from every video game ever where you follow that big guy through a wall. After that was done, I moved on to adding explosives. You remember these guys. Anyway, I threw a couple of fun little challenges in there, gave the explosives a fun little boom effect that I totally made myself and didn't steal. Psych! I got it off the Unity Asset Store for free. Ha! Suckers. I formally apologize to Danny Dev and the Danny Dev community. It was not my intention to steal your joke. Psych! Anyway, the bombs have a nice explosion effect, and I borrowed some sounds from an old prototype I worked on. I also mixed up some behaviors to make the bombs move more like move blocks, and the move blocks keep moving like move blocks. Yeah, and I'd like to remind everybody that uh, I'm still not good at, uh, I'm, I'm still not, I'm not, I'm, uh, oh god, uh, I'm not good at my own game. And with that, the space level was finished. I can cross that off the list. And now it's time for the cloud level. Thanks to my incredible lack of skill in the Pro Builder prototyping suite for Unity, I had to rename the cloud level to the mountain level, but uh, it only took me a day or two to build up. I had to play through it a few times, just to make sure that you could actually beat it, and in the end we had a nice little level. Uh, problem was, I had no obstacles. I'm supposed to add something new every single level. But I've already used everything I've made. Baby Musk once said in a speech about Mars, making one thing spin is easy, making a lot of things spin is hard, or something like that. What am I doing with my life? And so I learned to work with jobs. Jobs is where your CPU splits a lot of work into small chunks and then divides them up amongst your groups. Parallelization is just chef's kiss. And it'll be very important for a future project. So I stacked a bunch of spinners on top of each other and got this really trippy effect. I know exactly how it was, ma it was made. I made it, and my mind still can't wrap around this. There are still a few minor performance issues that only pop up when there are at least 200 of these turrets in the game, but every level at most is going to have, like, nine. With the cloud, I mean mountain level complete. Now it's time for something completely different just like the rest of the levels. If everything I do is different, does that make it all the same? I'd like to take a brief intermission to let you all know I got a new mouse. Seriously, they, they made a nest above my desk and babies just kind of started raining while I was doing game dev. Like, uh, l Luckily, the local pet store had a surrogate mother. Now back to the show. I made a long, wide path and added some buildings along the sides to give the same motion effect you get in the forest. Then I made my newest obstacle, the Hunter. This cheeky fellow follows you around and tries to push you off the path. Did I say path? I meant highway.
Did I say cheeky fellow? I meant swarm of violence. I added other block types to the level two, but honestly, these guys offer enough of a challenge. I mean, holy crap, their AI is barely a few lines of code and it's this good. It is September. I have been working on and off on this project for the past four months, along with a couple other things. And I finally recorded enough good quality footage to make a trailer. I now have something that I can say, look, look, look at this thing. I made a thing. Here you go. It's finally there. And that's the video. I have a few more levels to make and a bit of polish to do, and I have to get a Steam page done. And I think, yeah, that's it. I'd like to have a release before the end of the month. Uh, yeah. Fingers, fingers crossed. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, follow me on Twitter, donate to my Patreon, and eventually I might be able to quit my job at the Orphan Mashing Factory. 